Alright, what's up guys? Got another Yoda here today. Yoda gang. We got a uh, 2001 Toyota Tacoma. We're doing a radiator change. He also bought hoses and uh, water pump because the radiator's cracking. So we figured the uh, water pump's probably just as wasted as well. So we're doing water pump, hoses, fresh coolant obviously, and uh, the thermostat. And uh, I've already pulled the thermostat. It's right there. Two. 12 millimeter bolts for the cover right here. Super easy to get to. I literally, uh, so there's two 10 millimeter bolts across the top for this vacuum line that goes to the air filter, which I impacted off. There's four 10 millimeter bolts that hold, two on each side that hold the fan shroud in. And uh, I hit those with an impact as well. Just my little baby guy with various extensions on it. And then um, you go right through this hole, get through this hole, and get that bolt you see right there, and same with this thing, and you get that bolt with a couple extensions, and then right now we just have the two lower bolts that hold it in, so I wanted to film before I took everything out, so you get these hoses out of the way because we're doing them, so uh, I already pulled the clamps and drained all the fluid because that's nasty and who wants to see that anyway, so that's the uh, upper hose and lower hose is right there. All right, let's get those two lower bolts. All right, so how we're gonna do those uh, lower bolts is with this. This longer extension, a wobbly, and this guy. You gotta go up through here. Let's see if you can see it. It's the bolt right there. It's trying to focus, but that bolt right there on top of that ridge is the lower bolt that holds the radiator in. So we're gonna get that guy out right there, and uh, I'm gonna do it using this. Gonna hold it up there on it with my one hand, connect the wobbly with the impact. Just like that. Got it. And now to do the other side. Got it. All right, now uh, we're gonna get the radiator out, so get that. Just move this fan shroud in out of the way. Oh yeah, one more thing too. There's lower, I just remembered. <laughs> we forgot to take those off. This is an automatic, not a manual, so there is lower automatic cooler lines that go to the bottom of the radiator that we also gotta get off. I forgot to do it because it was wet, so uh, let's get those real quick. You want a drain pan, just quick. Literally the same tool for this whole job. A set of pliers, a nice set of pliers. And uh, to get all your clamps for all your water lines and all your oil lines. A 10 millimeter for all the radiator stuff and a 12 millimeter for the radiator mounts and the thermostat housing. And that's literally it. And the water pump's basically gonna be the same size bolts as well. And then these guys are kind of stuck. We're gonna Grab these lines with our pliers a little bit softly and just twist them. Try and break them free. Hear that? Now they're twisting. Now they're free. Do the other one. They're super just stuck on there. They've been clamped on forever. They're like almost glued in place. Now you can hear them twisting. Just twist off. It one at a time here and see which one leaks out more. All right. All right, so I'm actually just gonna get a second drain pan so I can pop this other guy at the same time and let them both drain. Right. Minimize the spillage here. And these things are just nasty. Sometimes it's better to just like hook them down like that and let them just actually really drain. Um, now we're gonna pull the radiator up. Drain a little bit. And there it is. And uh, it's even twisted from you, from your accident from that upper radiator uh, support. This guy's twisted a little bit actually. If you look at it, so it's even twisted. That's probably why it cracked. It was under stress and it's old. It's cracked right there. You can literally see a little hairline crack and it was leaking. 
All right, now to continue to the water pump, let's go. Let me pull this out too, real easy. Make sure to put that back in before you put your radiator back in. We're gonna get this fan off. It's some uh, 12 millimeter bolts right there. You gotta hold this hub. Uh, it's best to break them loose when the belt's still tight on it. It helps you hold that guy. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna take the belts off and get the water pump off and bam, reversal. I've gotten three out of four. There's always a pesky fourth. Mm -hmm. Okay, now all four of them are fucking finally loose. Those things are always a bitch. Now I'm just gonna sit here and finger fuck them off. Alright, so uh, we're back at it. We got that stuff off, which just comes off super easy, and then the pulley behind it that it just pulls off when you pull those four bolts off. Right there, and then uh, one bolt right here, 12 millimeter, that holds this guy on. So look at this thing's all tens and twelves. We're gonna pull this out right now and set it on the side. And uh, we're gonna get down on these water pump bolts, which is a combination of twelves right here and some smaller tens going around it. And uh, yeah. Alright. So we're just gonna zap these water pump bolts. So uh, we did three twelves first. And then uh, it's tens, it looks like, the rest of the way. One, two, and uh, third one, fourth one, fifth one, and one more out there. Eight ten millimeters. Good thing I had those drain pins there too. So uh, we got about eight 10 millimeters and uh, two 12 millimeter, millimeter bolts and one 12 millimeter nut. Get this water pump off. And then she comes out like that. It's actually really, probably a good pump. I was weeping a little bit. Yeah, it's time. Time to do it. Got a little weep pull right there. There's a little bit of crusties on it. Like it was maybe weeping a tiny bit. So good thing we did it. All right. Side since we're at it. A little bit of debris in there. But uh touch it, it's all super clean. Alright. Well, I was gonna say uh use this stuff, but my shit's all out. It makes it really easy to hold the gasket on here because we don't have a Toyota original, this is just a paper one. So it makes it really easy to hold it on there, but whatever. Alright. Got a like three bolts in it real quick, just kinda get it hung up there. to guide you and then use one of the short ones to kind of hang it so it all stays true. Oh, where the fuck did it go? I had the hole. There it is. I, I had it. And now we uh, just put all the bolts in and then uh, torque it. Make sure your gasket stays lined up, you know, which will be easy to tell if you got to put a bolt in. And you can even too, I can feel the gasket right here underneath it coming through the water pump, you know. But uh, you know you have an issue if you can't get your bolt in, which is like right now. Oh, never mind, I lied. I should have 
this guy. Yoda gang! Woo! Look at that thing right there. Yoda. Tommy just rolled through with some beers and a Yoda. Yoda. All right, so uh, the AC belt is a 4K343. The alternator belt is a KO50340, which is already on there, so you gotta put them in order. We got it hanging on there, just loose. You gotta loosen the tensioners a little more and get it over there. And then uh, the power steering belt is a yeah, 4K425. All right, tensioning the belt. You want about a half inch of deflection on the long side. All right, all right. So we got all the got all the fan bolts tight. Now we just put this back in. Reverse order. Throw the new radiator in. Which fucking sucks. It already has two big dings out of it. But yeah. All right. Hooks, be careful to uh, not let them get caught on your wiring harnesses. You drop them down. See, this guy is getting caught. Oil lines, oil nipples. Yeah. That real quick. All right, we're good. Shoot it. All right, done. Got everything in here. Everything's all tight. The last thing to do, all the lines are tight. The last thing to do is fill it full of coolant. The last vacuum line on. Oh, nice. Drop your bolts. It's part of finishing. Right. Okay, so typical me, I forgot to film putting coolant in it, but we put coolant in it, kept squeezing the lines. We've got the heater on full blast, and squeezing these guys to get all the air out of it. Now we're gonna take it around the block and do our maiden voyage. Bye. All right, later. later. Enjoy it. <laughs> Yoda gang. Yoda gang. Yoda. 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 Gang gang. <laughs>